Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the cheapest coins anywhere, check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. Career tribute, Jason Kelsey went live last night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, and we need to talk about that because there are 100% were some issues. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Isaiah Truitt for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel. Turn notification case on and comment down below. Noti Gang. Also, if you guys have not already checked out Underdog Fantasy, you can sign up right now using code ZERK to double your first deposit up to $100, and you guys will get this Luca. 0.5 points special for tonight. Which, by the way, my NBA picks for today will be up later tonight over on Twitter. So follow me over there if you guys want to copy mine. Should be up here in a couple of hours. Now, what I want to talk to you guys about today is what I made a video on last night with the career tribute Travis Kelsey. Now, yes, the 96 overall BND has been in the game since 7 p.m. each time. Obviously, we could get in here, we could open this up, get your Kelsey. Uh, is it worth it? It's about 250,000 coins to get a 96 overall BND center. He does get identifier for zero AP. He has some solid stats in my opinion i would probably not i would rather save the coins and you will be able to get a 96 overall center here in the coming weeks with overalls going up with team of the year we're going to get to 97 overalls you will be able to get a better center for around the same price relatively soon here and then you could sell them later on but if you get the kelsey then i understand right this is potentially an end game center but if you're thinking long term if you're going to playing madden ultimate team for you know a lot longer you're going to be able to get a center that's going to have maybe two zero AP buckets for maybe a little bit more expensive than this later on. But long term wise, I don't think it's worth it. Either which way, though, it doesn't matter. We're here to talk about the 99 overall Jason Kelsey. Now, I do want to bring this up. Jason Kelsey is a career tribute, right? He's a career tribute, 99 overall. Well, if we were to take a look at the packs in the store right now, there is one big thing that does affect pack odds with certain limiteds. And that would be programs, right? Like AK Limiteds, they come out of the AK packs. Ultimate Legends, uh, UL Lim Limiteds, they come out of the Ultimate Legend packs more often. Not to say they don't come out of other packs like the Pro Max Fantasy, because they do, but obviously they are more correlated with the promo packs here uh, because you do get a guaranteed, you know, 87 plus, and then one or two 87 plus overall ULs. There is no career tribute pack. So in terms of what was the best pack to open up this entire time to try to pull Jason Kelsey, that would be probably like the Pro Max Fantasy pack because at least with this, it's just three or four 82 pluses, one and two 87 pluses. Here's the thing though, with the current pack odds and everything in the game, there's a 4.2% chance of a 93 plus. Now with team of the year, we assume overalls go up on Thursday. Uh, pack odds should go up. So with that on Thursday there, it would make it a little bit easier to pull, let's say, Jason Kelsey, right? Which, by the way, yes, he is in packs, I believe, until Friday. So, you will be able to pull him, like, on Thursday with Team of the Year with whatever limiteds come out. And if overalls go up, uh, pack odds go up, that'd be better. There should be more Kelsey's pulled. Here's the thing, though. That is very, very true that, yes, the odds on the Jason Kelsey are just not going to be very good. What happened last night and what we've seen... That doesn't add up. Now, if we take a look here, guys, in the catalog, and we take a look at 99 overall Jason Kelsey, right? If we go look to see if there are any up on the auction house, as of this very moment, there are zero up. Now, last night, I made the video. Uh, it was about 7 p.m. Eastern time when I started recording that video. That's when they dropped the card. 7.30, I ended the video, and I said, eh, it's a little bit weird there's none up, but also pack odds are going to be very, very you know, bad to try to pull this Jason Kelsey. He's going to be very rare. At that moment, it looked like it was just hard to pull. It happened after that, though. Uh, in my opinion, I don't think that EA had Jason Kelsey in packs because as of the time that I went to bed last night, which was 12.30 p.m. Eastern time, okay? 12.30 uh, a.m. actually, 12.30 a.m. Eastern time, there were zero Jason Kelsey's pulled, at least on the auction house, zero just Kelsey's pulled and put on the auction house on any console. How do I know? Because of mutt.gg. Mutt.gg actually does a really cool thing, which is live tracking prices. Now, as you guys can see right here, 23 minutes ago. Now, I just want you to see this, all right? This will showcase for us all the auctions of all of these cards, all right? As you can see, Xbox recent sales. As of 23 minutes ago, guys, there was one jason kelsey sold on xbox series x 
PlayStation 5 three hours ago, one Jason Kelsey sold. If we look through here and look at PC, none's for sale. There are none currently up, none that have ever sold. Xbox One, none for sale, none that have ever sold. PlayStation 4, same thing. So this has been available since 7 p.m. Eastern Time, according to EA as of last night. Available at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. That means that as of the very moment that I'm recording this video, guys, in the 15 and a half hours, it is 1030, the 15 and a half hours that Jason Kelsey has been available to be pulled, there are only two that have ever been listed on the auction house and sold. That doesn't add up. Now, yes, is it possible that a couple other ones are pulled and people are holding on to them? Absolutely. But you're telling me if you pull Jason Kelsey, there's none up and you see they're selling for 6 million coins, you're not listing him, probably you're going to go ahead and list the card, right? So the fact that two have sold in 15 and a half hours, this does not add up to just poor pack odds. Now, yes, as of the last three hours, two have been sold, which means they are being pulled as of the last three hours, which obviously like 7 a.m., 6 a.m. Eastern time, you know, who's really opening up packs for them? Uh, at this point in time, probably the least amount of people of any time frame during the day, right? So they are getting pulled now. The pull rate is still atrocious, but I find it impossible. I have played Madden Ultimate Team, guys, for about 10 years, okay? For about 10 years. Yes, limiteds can be rare. Golden tickets can be very, very rare as well. But to have zero pulled, put on the auction house, and sold for the first 12 hours, hours of a card being up it doesn't happen now, if you guys follow me over on twitter which you definitely need to i was telling you guys last night after about three and a half hours of you know no kelsey's being pulled i have not been tweeted a kelsey poll someone tweeted me a fake video it was obviously fake uh but there are no other videos that anybody ever sent me no pictures anybody sent me of kelsey in a pack at all i said log on and open a pack. I didn't say a lot of packs. I didn't say open as many packs you want. You're going to get it for free. I said open a pack. Why is that? Because I will say this. In years past, guys, when there are limiteds that have major issues like this, EA, number one, just so you know, at 7 p.m., tweeted out the Jason Kelsey. 7.02, they tweeted out, it's live now. Then, when you guys go ahead, and if we'll see if I can actually get it to... Uh, pop up right here i'm not sure if it will uh it is not popping up but there was actually a pop-up right here for 99 jason kelsey he was advertised when you load up the game he was advertised over on twitter that they announced that he was live and obviously in the game as well with the 96 overall bnd career tribute i'm telling you right now in my personal opinion i do not believe that 99 jason kelsey was in packs for I don't know how long. And in previous years with limiteds that we've had issues on, there's a couple ways that EA may go about it. Number one, we've had limiteds where they actually gave us like packs back that we bought during a certain time period, whatever. However, this seems like a very, very long time period for me, uh, in my personal opinion, that it may have not been in packs. Number two, how do we prove to EA or get them to even address this? That's another big issue, getting them to even talk about this in the first place. How do we prove that he wasn't in packs? Well, none sold none listed on the auction house for you know 12 hours that seems like enough proof to me in my personal opinion especially with how many people were on opening up packs spending millions of coins and everything the other thing is something they have done in years past is when they promote a limited that's in packs and these definitely not in packs we have all gotten people that got on during whatever time frame the ea found out he wasn't in packs a bnd version of the limited this happened before with the super bowl promo i think it was like two years ago three years ago i distinctly remember mel renfro i think there was one i think about three years ago as well with like a limited edition i think it was like a defensive tackle that i cannot remember some dt whatever and i think it may have happened as well like last year the year before that that is just blanking my mind but yes we have gotten literally before bnd versions of whatever limited it was that was advertised that was in packs that obviously was not now i'm not gonna say 100 percent that we should expect to see a 99 overall bnd jason kelsey for anybody who got on last night opened up a pack when there was none being pulled but uh don't be surprised i did want to talk about this bring this more to your guys attention and please when ea tweets out stuff today because obviously they should be tweeting out stuff tonight at 7 p.m eastern time uh they'll probably give us like a weekly wild card teaser we're gonna be getting team of the year reveals tomorrow night as well so they're gonna tweet out probably around like 7 p.m eastern time 
you know, throw them a little reminder. Hey, what's going on with the Jason Kelsey there? And uh, I will keep you guys posted over on Twitter if we see any sort of updates. But in terms of had they said anything, no, they have not said a word yet, but I will keep you guys posted. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you drop a like in the video. And, of course, hit that sub button down below. Let me know what you guys think. And if you somehow pulled Jason Kelsey today, let me know. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.